Hi everybody, this is Siti Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys now. Let's see. There will be a link in the description box to the extended where we will be talking more about the person that you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves. Outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below as well as your 2022 20, predictions. Look at how that Queen of Cups wanted to come out. Okay. What do we have for Pisces? I see the Empress at the bottom of your deck. Look, oh, no, <laughs> here it is. <gasps> Pisces. You have the Emperor and the Empress together with the hand. Oh my goodness, what is this? There is somebody who views you as their divine counterpart, Pisces. Oh my goodness. The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? All right. What have you been up to? I would have to clarify the Eight of Swords since it came out out of nowhere. Um, I feel like a lot of you... Oh my goodness, what's going on? Take a break from something, Pisces. Tell me about the Eight of Swords for Pisces. What's what's keeping them stuck? I feel like you're thinking about something all the time or you're feeling a little bit stuck when it comes to something. It, it almost looks like... Um, I feel like a lot of you are in your head about, you know, okay, what is something that's going to make me happy? But I kind of feel like there is definitely a situation that has been, um, you, you know, you felt like you were wasting your time and energy on it, okay? And it's like, now you're trying to free yourself from this, especially with the um, Nine of Cups energy, okay? It's like you're trying to be happy on your own. You're trying to find balance again. There is definitely something that, okay, it could be a person or I don't know, like there is an energy here where you feel like you have invested a lot of time and energy into and you also feel like it was a waste of time. So now you are prioritizing your happiness, okay? Something in the past, I see that it came to an end um, and the situation burdened you quite a lot from what I can see at least. So look at that Ten of Swords. What is the Ten of Wands for Pisces? The Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Was there two? Oh my goodness. Was there like two different people? Because I'm really getting that that Knight of Wands is different from um, the King of Swords here and the Lovers. I feel like in the past you were maybe confused about two different people. Uh, or maybe if, if, if it was just the same person that I definitely feel like you detached yourself from the situation, okay? You may have perceived somebody as very in and out, okay? And you may, you know, I feel like you wanted for this person to speak their truth, but they were confusing you, okay? Some of you were having a hard time making a choice in love in the past. Like, it's almost like trying to figure out, okay, is this person worth my time and energy or not, you know? And it came to an end. I'm also getting a little bit of an on and off love situation in the past that messed up with you like you never knew what was going to happen next between you two okay 
Queen of Swords reverse, Page of Pentacles. I'm really getting that it's either that somebody was petty or they were just like, I don't know, it does seem like somebody was petty. Um, goodness Pisces who have you dealt with and I'm seeing more than one person here in your reading okay with the king of wands reverse to the five of wands energy Pisces I'm really getting that there is something here that you felt like you had to you had to fight for somebody's attention and I feel like you dealt with a person who was very in and out okay now another thing I get here Pisces <laughs> at the present moment is that you could be doing whatever it is that you're doing but you're still a little bit confused when it comes to somebody okay and it could be because you know um you don't want something to end up in an argument some of you could be speaking to a new person these days i don't know it's like a lot of you are confused because you may like somebody but you feel like it's it's almost like a waste of time and the reason why it confuses you is because you feel like whatever this person says, they're never able to keep up with it. Okay, so you wonder why, you know, why you should even show up for this person. Okay, and that causes a sense of conflict within you where it's like, okay, now this person may be pursuing me because I feel like there is somebody coming towards you, but it just looks like you don't trust them. You feel like, okay, this person may be coming towards me but you know it always ends up nowhere or it's like i have to fight for this person so i'm not sure if this is worth my time and energy give me one more for this i feel like you're choosing to let this go despite the fact that you may still have love for somebody or you may still feel for somebody you're just choosing to let it go pisces you're, you're loosening your grip on the situation because a lot of you feel like you wasted enough time in the past, okay? Your future energy is beautiful. You have the Six of Swords, Ace of Cups to the High Priestess. There is a new beginning in love for you. And I feel like with the High Priestess energy, a lot of you are aware of the path that you're on, okay? You're choosing to walk away from drama, from situations that are no longer serving of you. And with the Ace of Cups energy, it's almost like... Ooh, it's, it's, it's like there is a new beginning here. There's some form of a new start that you're headed towards. And I feel like it's going to be sudden. What is that? Ooh, okay, Pisces. So you have the tower to the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever this new opportunity is bringing you, it is surprising because it almost looks like... I mean, Pisces, is it does look like a situation that's going to make you very happy, okay? And it's going to be all of a sudden. Some of you are going to be making money, okay? Or there, there's something new in your money situation as well. In the extended, I have um, um, talked more about your uh, finances. It is a reading about your person as well. So we will see what will happen in that. But... I feel like I've talked about this financial thing before as well in a reading where I told you that there's something big going on with your finances, okay? Um, oh my goodness, you have eight, two aces in your future outcome, Pisces. And High Priestess here is just like, it's like elevating your um, outcome. Wow. I feel like Pisces, you've gotten really wise with the choices that you're making, especially with people. And moving towards the future, I kind of feel like you will choose to detach, you will choose to let go. And there are new opportunities for you. Fantastic. You also, of course, I told you your overall energy from the reading was the Emperor and the Empress. So there is a divine counterpart energy here that is surrounding you, okay? I will clarify that as well. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you, Pisces, and I'm going to like, I don't know if I should like. <sighs> I 
I have to be honest with you, even though you know better, you're doing better, you are wasting your time on something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I feel like you're trying to still find an answer to something, even though it looks like you have pretty much, you have um, decided to let go of something, but it's like you're inquiring about something that you feel like is a waste of time, that you feel like is not worth it, but you're still inquiring about it because I don't know, you know? A lot of you also have to overcome this tendency that you have where you go in relationships and you go in heads first and you know you give your all with the king of cups energy and then you feel like oh i should have maybe controlled myself i feel like you're somebody who falls in love too fast and that is something that has disappointed you in the past okay and that is what's showing up here it's, it's just telling you to know where you're getting involved Whoever you're dealing with, their energy is the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands. My goodness. Ooh. Would the... Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini. Um, this person wants to confess something and I feel like this person has been waiting for the right time to say what they want to say but I feel like this is like the waiting period here that is attached to the situation that makes it very toxic okay this is somebody who's looking at you like a, like somebody they really want to be with they somebody they want to have a future with and this is somebody who's low-key obsessed with you Pisces what is the devil doing here my goodness eight of pentacles this is a very confusing energy and apparently this is somebody else than this person okay because this is a person who may even have other options they may be messing around with other people okay but it, it just looks like deep down inside they want you and they know it but they i feel like this is somebody who keeps running away from the fact that they want you okay you know they look at you as somebody they really want to work things out with but I feel like for some of you, this person cannot help because their ways are player-like. <sighs> My goodness. That's why I feel like you're letting go of this person. And I do feel like there are options in love for you. This reading is really saying there's not one person. What is the temperance? Your advice from the reading is the temperance. Pisces, don't let nobody mess up with your peace of mind. Okay, don't get involved with people that you know are going to drain you, whether that be in family, friends, whatever. Okay, this is telling you to keep your patience. A lot of you need to rest, okay, and take a break from something because it almost looks like there's somebody who's very like malicious here with the Five of Swords energy and this person keeps dragging you down. And how do they drag you down when you get involved in this? What is the Empress to the Emperor for Pisces? Nice. I like it. I like it. So Five of Cups reverse Pisces, letting go of past, hurt, betrayal, sadness, whatever. Okay, past, toxicity needs to, let, needs to be gone for this to manifest. I feel like this is something you don't see coming, but you really have a divine counterpart energy that surrounds you and is going to manifest for you soon. Again, it keeps talking about having to walk away from something first. It keeps talking about having to walk away from something, Pisces. Because I feel like this person where the devil showed up, this person has wasted your time a lot, okay? I can already tell. Let's see. 
Show me what's there for Pisces. I'm telling you there's somebody who watches you who stalks you why does this person watch Pisces why does this person watch Pisces because they feel like there's insane chemistry that they have with you passion this person is passionate about you and they watch you oh my goodness Someone has their eyes on you. That's it, Pisces. Those were the messages that we have for you today. I hope that this reading resonated. If it did, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the reading about your person if you're interested. It will be linked below. Take care and bye-bye.